Listen, y'all already know what time it is, man. It's that boy Deli back out here with another video. As y'all can see by the title of us, ah, dang. Listen, bro, I really, I really wasn't even gonna react to this shit. We are reacting to Narwar versus Destroy Lonely. Make sure y'all go check out the Narwar versus Kent Carson video. It should drop around the same time. But hey, man, let's get into it. Let's see what the hell this shit talk about. Let's see what crazy shit this nigga Narwar done discovered about this nigga Destroy Lonely. How the hell does Narwar be finding out all this information about niggas? Like, it's information that niggas forgot about that this nigga Narwar knows about. How? How? This nigga gotta be working with the FBI or some shit. Federal agent or something. Let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're new, you feel me? 22 minutes, 57 seconds. Let's get into it. All right. Let's skip all this. Let's skip all this. I let go. Narwar. Narwar. The goat man. Narwar. Who are you? Destroy Lonely. Destroy Lonely, welcome to Coachella. What's up, man? And Lone, who do you have beside you right now? Man, first off, this man Destroy Lonely swaggy as hell, man. Let's run that back. Let's run that back from the top. Let's run that back from the top, man. Listen, this nigga swaggy as hell, bro. Like, just look at this nigga. Pause, no ditty. Just look at this nigga. Look how swaggy he is. I need this. Y'all know I love my goddamn bandanas. Y'all know I love my bandanas. If I don't got a hat on, I'm rocking a bandana. Swaggy as hell. Look at the shades. Play this shit. Who are you? Destroy Lonely. Destroy Lonely, welcome to Coachella. Swaggy up, ass man? nigga. And Lone, who do you have beside you right now? Our brother, Ken Carson. Hello, Ken. What's up, Nard? We're going to talk to you a bit later. Yep. And right <laughs> now, we have Destroy Lonely. And yes, right sir. off the bat, I have a gift for you right here. A My Bloody Valentine oh, it's LP. It's hard. It's the first one I ever listened to. What can you say How about does he My know Bloody that? Valentine? Damn, bro. I what really are you going to say? It. You're destroyed lonely. We have to know. Uh, Stupid ass. Somebody that mean a lot to me, uh, they showed me their music like a couple years ago. So. <laughs> and that is a gift for you. A My Bloody Valentine LP. Yeah, you. that's a gift for you. Bro, thank you. Hey, hold this to it. Thank you so much. Bro, thank you. That's, that's fine. I fuck with that for sure. Destroy Lonely, did it all begin at a cookout at Mike's house how the, where you met Nisa? How the fuck he knows this? It was Mike, no. Do you know Mike? Mike, who the hell is Mike? Oh, White Boy Mike. Yeah, thank, for real. Yeah, that, that's how I, but that ain't how my shit started, though. That's how I met my twin from back then. But, nah, that ain't how it went. But I, that's, that's the moment, though, for sure. That's close. That moment, like, close enough, ain't it? Shit, that was just a part of my life. That's for him that, to know a nigga. Brother, how you know a random nigga named Mike? I mean, he's, that's still my brother too, but that's when I met him, and that's when like shit started rolling off of me, like making music. They gave me my laptop, all that shit. So yeah, that way that way shit started kicking that's off. That's crazy. Nisa's a punk rapper into punk. He he going. That my brother. He going crazy for sure. Thank you, Mr. Burns. <laughs> Yo. I'm like what? No. Hey, Mr. Burns, that's... Hey! Nah, yo, shout out Mr. Burns. That's my uh, that's my piano teacher from high school. Damn. Yo, what the fuck, bro? How the fuck? <laughs> yeah, bro, shout out Mr. Burns, bro. I used to skip class and go to his class every fucking day. Bro, <laughs> who is Narwar's researcher? I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that he does his own research, but how in the hell, Mr. Burns... He just know every nigga from everybody's childhood. I wouldn't be able to do some shit like this. I swear to God, I wouldn't be able to do some shit like this. I don't know what the hell he would say. <laughs> it made music, bro. That's all right. That's, That's pretty cool. Piano. Yeah, bro, but it wasn't even about the piano class. I wasn't in there doing the class. He just knew I would like to make music, so he'll let me skip. And, like, it was a studio in school, so he'll let me skip. And act like I'm in his class and go record music in the studio. That's why I fuck with him, because he was just he let me rap all day. You were also into science fairs? That was lit. <laughs> Hell no, nah, bro. Yeah, bro, I do a lot of different no. things, bro. How? 
How does he know? I want a hey, real shit though. I want every science fair I ever did first place, no bet. AU. Yeah, Slim AU. That my favorite right name. That's very science. Ish. <laughs> yeah, my first rap name was Slim AU. That shit meant like gold. That shit was corny and fuck, bro. What are you doing right now? <laughs> you are destroy lonely. <laughs> I like that name. Slim AU. That was my name. That's crazy. Like that name. Quote Little Tundra, he gonna stay. That's one of my bars, but I got cold VVS. Yep, cold Valentine. What the fuck? That's the first one. Little Tundra. Yep, Tundra Boy Lonely. First name. Damn. A-U. A-U, Tundra Boy Lonely, then Destroy Lonely. What was Lonely's flexed up slow jams all about? Bro, this old ass tape. Yo, you asking me what's up slow jams? Like, that shit wasn't about nothing. That was Is that shit still out? If I ever dropped. Just trying to put music out on SoundCloud. I is that still that out? School. The name is really funny as hell. Flexed up, slow jams. I ain't heard that one fire. I ain't heard that one fire. Because it don't exist. Bro, this nigga crazy. <laughs> this is like, from when I was like 14, bro. Like, but yeah, that shit ain't nothing, bro. That's different. What was it like pillow fighting at the mall? Bro, that sounds crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this one right here. How the fuck do you know some shit like that? Who is this man in contact with to just this is random like that pillow fighting at the mall. That sounds crazy. No diddy. But what the fuck? <laughs> nah, that happened, but that sounds crazy. Don't put it like that. Nigga, I walking through, it was these YouTube niggas, they caught me in my pocket, they said they wanted to know. I'm like, wait, Psh. But don't make it sound like that, though, Twin. Like, <laughs> I have another Hell, gift for you type of shit right here. Uh, Destroy no, no. Lonely, a ludicrous 12-inch featuring... Who's on this? Man, you know who on there, man. Infamous 2 -O. Infamous 20. Smart for you. And Lil' Fate. Who is like your dad? Who's this though? I don't know. Well, what I was curious is Infamous 20 versus I-20. What happened there? He was like Infamous for a little while. Yeah, so this is my pops. Uh, he just he just dropped the Infamous to I because that shit long as hell. Because in this rap shit, bro, you got to have a name that's fine. But this Best. hard though. I never owned. I never owned. And it's got instrumental on it as well for you to experiment on. Nah, this is sick. Shout out this. Bro, your one thing I've noticed, bro, with this music shit. Majority of everybody that's in the game, I wouldn't even say majority, but some of the niggas that are in the game that's from Atlanta, they dad did music. So now they doing music and they don't popped off with the shit. That's how it is. I don't rap, didn't he? Like, where did he? My pops, my pops on that heavy. He really on that rapping shit. But this is different. I like this a lot. I never, I never own one of their albums. I ain't gonna lie, except for my, I have my pops. Uh, his first album, I had got that CD a couple months ago just because I seen it in the store. But this is nice, though. And that's a gift for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Did your dad call you Spank? <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa. Seriously, look. Yeah, <laughs> so growing up, but how do you know that? Exactly. You're destroyed lonely. We, we have, have to, to know. know. All right, so growing up, my family used to call me Spank. Spanky, cause I used to, I was bad as hell. I used to always get whoopings and shit. So that's what my pops used to call me. He used to call me Spank. But your mom was pretty cool, like taking you to Little Wayne. That's amazing. Like yeah, how? My mom, my mom, I love my mom for what she did, like with me and music. Like when I started doing shows and shit, she was driving me around to all my shows. My first concert, like that's literally, literally first and last concert I ever went to. After this, I went and was doing my own shit. She took me to go see Drake versus Lil Wayne. And that shit changed my whole. I was like, oh yeah, I'm finna do what these nigga doing. So it was like, yeah, shout out to mom for that. That was yeah, fun. I was wondering what exactly is Boy, what going the hell? on in this Not the Max Payne. right here. I put you down. So this is me. Uh, actually, I had to be like probably like 10. Max Payne 3 just came out. It's one of the best shooter games of all time. I wanted this shit so bad. My pops went to me to go get that shit. He took a picture of me. He put this shit on his Twitter. It's been there for probably like 12 years. Damn. People started finding this shit. But yeah, this is what I used to look like when I was a young nigga. This is me now. How hard was it to play that game, like a shooting game? It wasn't nothing. Man, like, it was easy for me. I, yeah, I play games. But 
like you were into reprogramming Xboxes and stuff like that. Just to take the controllers. Yo, why do you know this? What the hell? Who's telling you this shit? This man bro, Long was a geek for real. I used to take the Xbox controllers and model them myself, bro. I used to take them. Yeah, and get, bro, like, I ain't do my half. I ain't do what you were saying. Like, I ain't wasn't doing nothing with the Xboxes, but I, I used to do this shit. I used to take That's controllers wild. and super myself and shit. That's crazy. You know that. That's crazy. Well, you are destroyed lonely. We have to know. I guess. <laughs> Speaking of video games, etc., I have a gift for you. The Fortnite soundtrack art. for you to sample, possibly. What the fuck? Fortnite? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fortnite kind of true, though. Like, what the fuck? Nigga. How the hell? I didn't even know hey, they sold the vinyl. So since you put me on blast, because I... Uh, it's, I guess you know. The vinyl is cool. <laughs> Yellow. I like Fortnite. It's one I of like my the colors. Games. None of my fans. They cover our five. None of this shit. This shit, Trim. I probably would never give this a play ever, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> For possible sample, though, and a poster as well. I think I'm going to keep this. A wall hanger. A good wall hanger. Yeah, look, I'm going to keep it in the pack, and I'm going to use it as, like you said, art. I like how it look. Yeah, that but shit art. I play Fortnite a lot, bro. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody want to smoke on this for me. I ain't going to lie. I was never good at Fortnite. What a bad teammate you are. Where that's from, though? Where that's from? Periscope. What was I doing on there? Eight people were watching. What's going on there? I was I was geeking out as a kid playing video games online, being stupid, and I wish that video was never on the internet. I think it's really cool, like using Periscope. Not a lot of people. Now it's really easy. I don't know what type of hardware this man Narawar has his hands on, but. We can't get this shit out to the public, bro. Like, this is the nigga you don't want to see in a courtroom. You see Narwar as a witness to your case, you're finished. You're done. Good riddance, nigga. Good yeah, yeah, fucking riddance, head, nigga. Fuck that. You previewed Bane for like 64 people? No, four people. Damn. It was only four people. But what was the reaction, though? All four people said it was hard, so I like shit. I'm finna drop it. <laughs> and that shit went crazy. Shout out to fuck motherfuckers, man. <laughs> what were shows on the East Side like? Me Where they at? when I was younger in Atlanta, that shit. I never performed in the East on the East Side. For one, I performed in the city, and that shit was different. It was like Atlanta used to have like this little. Uh, it was like a little scene or whatever, and they used to have like these little parties and these little shows and shit. And I was like, I was trying to do shit, so I used to perform. I probably did like a good ten of them. It's like. 12 people in there, maybe 50, maybe 100. But Damn. I did them like a couple times and I was like, fuck that. I want to do real shit. And I just kind of. You, you can't even do that shit no more because niggas don't know how to act. They always want to shoot some shit up like dumbass niggas, bro. Quit doing that shit. You can't do shit like that no more. On real stages and shit. And I thought to give you a gift to welcome you to the land ATL of the ATL Underground Coachella, has changed. Batman record. This just because the niggas Batman. don't know how to act. <laughs> You like Why you don't like Batman? I do like Batman a little bit. But I, I thought it's also good for a wall hanger, isn't it? Like to hang on the wall for artwork. You're giving me a lot of fire looking things. I'm into like how things look, but this this is hard though. What year is this from? That is from 1966. Damn. Damn. Originally like the original original from 1966. Where do you shit. find shit like this? Uh that record I think I found at Beat Street Records in Vancouver, Canada. Nice. I appreciate that. Well, only to pass for destroy. Yeah. Only at Coachella. Yeah. Scary Godmother. Favorite Halloween movie of all motherfucking time, nigga. What the fuck? See now you striking. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good movie right there. Great movie, scary boy. Cartoon Network. Right. Cartoon Network. Yes. Bro. yes. That I Tell like. Tell me more about the Scary Godmother. Shit, they're my favorite. I like one and two. They don't even come on no more. You probably ask somebody about it. Probably don't even know about that shit. But I used to love that I shit don't so even know much, about bro. That shit. I had my grandma. She used to be able to do this shit. Like you could record shit on the TV and put it on a DVD. I had my grandma make a DVD for me. Out the Scary Godmother shit. I used to watch that shit all the time. Damn. Like, Halloween movie all the time. Possible sample down the line. I guess so, Narwar. You want me to sample a lot of shit. So yeah. <laughs> well, I have another gift for you. Napoleon right here for you Dynamite. To sample. Napoleon Dynamite. Some breaks. The Check hell? out the all breaks that you can actually sample for your music. This is my favorite movie on earth. Yo, what the fuck? Like, nah, how see, does he know? I probably play this just because I haven't seen this movie a million times and I know I like the look. 
Yeah. What's his favorite part of Napoleon Dynamite? It's uh, he's sitting in the classroom, I think, or he at the lunch table. I haven't seen him in a minute. He pulled the tots out of his pocket. They like Napoleon. He's gonna do the tots. Eat him. You like gosh. I fuck with Napoleon Dynamite, bro. I have probably seen his movie many times. My uh, somebody else who I care about a lot. They got me a birthday gift. It was like it was like a special edition of the DVD. It was like furry and it was like like tiger print or whatever. But I still got that shit in the wrapper to this day. I love this movie. That shit at my house. You can sample that one as well, and that's a gift for you. 1979. For sure. <laughs> I, I was wondering, though, is it really like 150 songs per month you write? Quite a few songs you write per month. That's my boy. I just got out here in L.A. a month ago. Ask him how many songs I do. Uh, probably about 200 now. God wow. damn. That's a lot of lyrics. Five. What do you do when you record so many? Like, what sort of mindset? Like, I want to exactly. do five tonight. How does it work out? I don't count, and I don't care. I just, I like working. Me and my brother, we just sit in the studio. That's where we live at. When I get off stage, we're going to go to a studio. Well, I got I got my shit set up in the house right now. But mm. that's how we got here. That's how we're going to leave here. That's what we're doing 24-7. Nothing I else. Feel it. MF Doom. Crazy. I like MF Doom. I was in, I was somewhere yesterday. That was, I walked in for the win, this burger spot, playing y'all down on blast because it's already on blast. I walked in there, that's playing MF Doom, just in my head. But I go to the bathroom, I'm like, damn, yeah, shit, chum. I fuck with MF Doom for sure. Here is a gift for you from Vancouver, Canada to bring back some that? smoke, an original Cheech and Chong record with damn. some. Damn. This overly chum. This is hard. This fine. I'm hanging. <laughs> I'm hanging. I'm hanging. <laughs> so that's for you to use afterwards. Yo, you can roll up in this? Yeah. Damn. This is a crazy vibe. From 19... Yo, yeah, we got to. We got to. 1972. What the Damn. fuck? <laughs> that is wild. Five, five, five. Five. That's the safe word. Hey, look, though. Tommy Chong, originally from Edmonton. I like uh, Canada people. Y'all make good music. <laughs> and you do good things with your YouTube. Shout out Canada. I really appreciate that. So this is a gift for you to indulge in afterwards. I, you know, How long has this nigga Narwar been doing this shit, bro? Because ain't no way, ain't no fucking way that this nigga just been knowing everybody. He knows everybody info. He probably knows where Destroy Lonely stay at. Like, dead ass. We about to smoke the fuck out of this vinyl. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that shit hard. Yeah. Big, that shit say big damn boo. Hey, I ain't psyched out with that. What the fuck? That's fine. That's fine. And, and also, I was curious Bruh. what's going on in this photo right here. These my all right. So look, I'm gonna keep it all the way 100. Then my brother heads. I still be with this nigga every day to this day. Damn. This nigga got no name. L D. This this nigga named Brandy. This is my this is my brother right here though. I love this nigga to death. But we was just we was fiving, bro. Like Ken said, who the fuck who the fuck we thought we was, bro. <laughs> but now nah, I fuck with these niggas though. When they see this, they gonna be they that's that's gonna be funny. And on the back, this is incredible. What's going on here? This is incredible. My brother Danny, yeah, I know that he pick. out there. We all uh, know I used that to sleep on his couch every time I used to come to LA. And he was making clothes and shit, so he gave me an opportunity to model for his clothes, and he took it and he put it right here. And this is my first time ever modeling. And since this little small shit that I did for my bro, I done did a lot of big shit. This was just like, I guess like a little light manifestation, but Damn. shout out to him. He's still here to this day. He out there. I love that nigga. I think it's great that you shout out Vivian Westwood. Where? In a song. <laughs> I like Vivian. Like now, you know what I'm saying? It's, I might uh, have to stop uh, streaming on uh, uh, Twitch. This shit got this shit lagging a little swag. bit. She's and Ken talks about Stella mm -hmm. in Veteran. You shout out Stella McCartney. Yo, I love Stella McCartney. Like, I love that. Like, Stella. Hey, Vivian, everybody that's on Twitch, really go to Kick. Go to Kick. I know this shit lagging like, bad. Like, we having fun. and uh, uh, But we, we got right. a lot of knowledge on a lot of things. But we, we really do this. When did you first we hear be of Ken? I didn't first hear of Ken. See, everything, everybody that's around me, I met in real life. It wasn't a hearing of Ken Carson. Me and Ken, we from the same place. We from Atlanta. Yes, sir. But when I met my brother, I was actually in L.A. And we was outside at... Uh, I forgot where we was at. It was some other niggas performing. Me and Kenny had no move, no music at the time, but it was some some other niggas performing. And we was out, we was outside. We was the only niggas from Atlanta. I said what's up to him. He said what's up to me. And then I got his info or whatever. And then once I got back home, him already nigga the the opium nigga crazy now. I don't know how the fuck I was in my room one day. Nigga called my phone. He like where you at? Pull up. 
don't even know how they got my number. But Damn. caught up on him and I was with him ever since. Every day, just probably like four years ago, going on five years now. But Jeez. everybody I meet, I met in real life. I met Ken in real life. my real brother. I met him in L.A. And what about Lone? When did you first encounter Lone, even not music? It's crazy because my friends knew his music before me, but I knew him before them. Damn. Was it? Me and Ken was friends. It wasn't yeah. about no music. And he was he was hanging out with my best friend. Yeah, I, I was hanging with Cam, like, I was hanging with Cam hella. And he was coming with Cam. Type shit. And, bro, before we ever was even making songs together, and then we was just smoking weed, watching other niggas perform. And Lil 88 would be making beats. Like, we don't even have a microphone. We just right there, like, making beats. Shout out Lil 88, man. And we get here. That's when we was sending that shit. We was sending that shit to bro. Mm -hmm. No bet. We was, we was out, we, it was this little apartment in Atlanta, one of his homies house. We always just sit up in there and talk about this shit. Not bad. Have you ever been to the Coke plant in Atlanta? The Coke, Coke, Coca Cola? That sounds crazy, but the Coca Cola <laughs> factory, the big the factory, place, nigga. Yeah, sure. This Coke nigga said the Coke plant. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. I, was just, I was just in there with. Right. Yeah, for sure. The Coke plant. Ludacris's restaurant, like beer and chicken at the airport. I, I never ate that. Uh, my fault, uh, but hell yeah, no. Nah. I never been there either. <laughs> I ain't never been there, Twain. <laughs> what about Ken? <laughs> What's this called? It's called beer and chicken. Beer. You said it's at the airport? Beer and chicken. Mm -mm. I'm going to check it out now, though. Where terminal that's at? <laughs> Louis, you gotta give me your shit. Oh. This nigga said, what, what, go, what terminal that said? Free motherfucking beer and chicken. Yeah. yeah. So that shit's in the spin out. What about Two Chains restaurant? Doesn't Two Chains have restaurants? I have not been to his restaurant either. I me neither. live in my own world, but I fuck with the Unks for sure. What about the Two Chains Trap Museum? No. I ain't been there. No, no that's the tip. I'm just saying, we don't go places like go that. I go to our studio, shout out that boy yeah. too. Well, we can't drop the studio, but we'd be out there in the studio after show. Walter's Clothing, the legendary Walter's Clothing. I walked in Walters and got me some voices. Yeah. What's that like? What's the clothing scene like there? Yeah, it's just legendary. Walter's ain't like no clothing store. It's just, it's just Central Atlanta has been that. Bro, what's going on with Ken? Living. Excuse me. What's going on with Ken? Ken must be drugged up or some shit. He keep uh, pointing out the goddamn dude, dude, the little dudes. Whatever you need. Like, tank top. Keep pointing shoes, at this you know, shit. Forces, like, quick, like, I mean, now it's probably a little bit more suited up. I ain't been in there in a minute, but just like a essential story that's been there for a long time. I'm so paying attention to Kim more than I, I am to uh, Pink Long. Pantheris. Shout out her. I fuck with her. Shout out to Pink Shout Panthers. Pink, man, if you seeing this, I fuck with you. That's Twin for sure. Quote, Goonies never say die. die. And lastly, I have a gift for you. An original Goonies pin. Yo, I love the Goonies. From 1985. This is mad. This is mad random. Uh, I used to watch this shit with my grandma all the time. The Goonies is a like W movie, one bro. Of the first movies, like you know when you watch movies, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like first movie, you can, like remember like like watching. Like it's mm -hmm. one of the first movies. Like I was like, oh mm -hmm. damn, this is a cool Same. movie. Big ugly motherfucker. But yeah, my grandma showed me this. Shout out, shout out to Goonies. It's fire. Like watching movies, sting up late. You hate people that sleep in late past 10 a.m., don't you? Man, we some early birds, man. We might wake up 6 a.m., go to sleep 4 a.m. Still get up early. I'm on the phone with yeah. this nigga clockwork every day, and then we can start in the day. I, don't, I hate all that sleeping shit. Man, I could overload on any whatever. I'm still up early in the morning ready to get that pay. That job up. Me, personally, I can go up, I can go to sleep at 4 a.m., wake up at 9. Uh, I can't. 4 to 6 is kind of madness. I've done it before, but for a normal schedule, it... It all, it all depends on what you do. It really all depends on what you do. With this video shit, sometimes it depends. I might be I might be up at like 3 a.m. in the morning. I might record a couple videos and let that be that. And then I might go to sleep and then wake up and record again. But it all depends, bro. I've been recording videos late as hell. That's how I do it. That's how we do it. 12 a.m. is where Thank I make all my videos. Thank you, Only, for the shout-out on Montreal. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? You shouted me out. I Am I wrong? That. That's crazy. When did you first hear me? Just curious. I ain't gonna lie, keeping it 100. Nigga, this life. Everybody know you. Forever. We've been trying. The same spot we met at, we used to just be watching interviews oh, and, and performances. All this you, time. Rolling Louds, all this shit, like, man, twins sitting right there. But we, I ain't gonna lie, we really giving these folks, man, I'm gonna keep it 100. Y'all be like, is this real friends or whatever? Bro, man, this nigga used to sit on the couch with this nigga back there and watch everybody perform and be like, bro, one day, one day we gonna be doing the same shit, bro. We just like yeah. anybody else, bro. Like, we was right there applying and now we doing it. Anybody else can do it too.
Coachella 2024. Yes, sir. Destroy Lonely. Anything else to add to the people out there at all? Man, y'all stay fire. fire, fire. You fire, we fire. Double O, IVF. Why should people care about Destroy Lonely? Why should people care? <laughs> Shit, bro, because... Cause I care about I care about people, man. I care about the world. I care about my twins. I care about everything. We bring positivity. We bring good music, bro. We doing this shit the right way. Yes. I feel like I feel like now we in a place where a lot of people don't give a fuck, but we still give a fuck, and we still want everything to be right, sound right, be pushed the right way, feel good, and that's what we on. So that's why you should give a fuck about me, my campaign, my twin campaign, this opium shit, everything we doing. Facts. It's authentic. It's real. Thanks. Well, thanks so much, Destroy Lonely. Keep on rocking in the free world and do, do, do. Do, do, fine. Yeah. <laughs> now this nigga about to pause now for 10, 10 minutes. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hell no. He gonna put the chain on him? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Bro, hey, wild as hell. Listen. W video from Narwar, man. This is just part one. Like I said, make sure y'all go watch the Ken Carson video. I'm about to record that shit now. It'll drop at the same time as the Destroy Lonely video on YouTube. But, bro, I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. Nigga, we need an opium album. We need an opium song, but we need an opium album, nigga. We need it. I need it. Bad, nigga. Bad. But other than that, man. Listen, if y'all want more Narwhal reactions, if y'all want more interview reactions, y'all let me know down below in the comments. But, hey, man, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like us, comment, subscribe for new feel more videos. Coming some more content coming soon. Y'all already know what time it is, man. It's be your boy, that boy, Deli. Make sure you follow the kick, follow the Twitch, and also join the Discord down below in the description, man. I'm out this bitch, bruh.